Hey guys, WileyGun1776. So welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to bring to you guys something that I've been using for the past six months or so that is helpful for my EDC and actually off carry. And specifically when you can't carry somewhere, what do you do with your firearm? And I have been using the vault Safe. This is the original version, not the 2.0. And wanted to do a quick review of it and kind of show you guys why I carry it and where I think it kind of comes into play. But before that, if you can join the Wiley Guns family and subscribe to the channel. And of course, like, subscribe and share always helps me out. So let's get into this. What I wanted to do was I was looking for an option that when I could not carry my firearm and I had to put it somewhere in the car or, you know, not able to carry it in, what do you do with it? Do you put it in your glove box? That to me didn't seem super secure. So I was looking for some cheap, I shouldn't say cheap alternative, but a decent alternative to where I can lock up my firearm in my, in my car that, you know, say I'm running into the post office, you know, that's just one of many errands, want to, can't, can't obviously carry a firearm into the post office, so what do you do? So that's where I began looking around and I found the Life Pod. And they're relatively inexpensive, they're about $110, and they're made out of polymer. And what works great is you can use these and throw them in your EDC bag, and they come with a tether strap, or it's really not a strap, but it's a, a cable that you can wrap around something secure in your car. You can throw your firearm in this and you know it's somewhat secure so you can easily just keep this under your car seat, throw it in your EDC bag. There's a lot of different uses. But let's take a quick look, um, kind of show you guys what you can put in it and some of the features. So let's take a quick look at it. So overall fairly compact. I can leave some of the sizes below but the exterior dimensions of it is 10 and a quarter by seven by two and a quarter deep. And the interior dimensions are seven and seven, seven and three quarters by six by an inch and three quarters. So what's cool about it is you have the numeric keypad. So you can just hit your code and, and lock it and unlock it. It has two little clips on the side that use for the compression. So you unlock those and open it up. And what you have inside is a small compact case that in this case, I am storing a nine, Glock 19 with the hollow sun sight, the magazine installed in the magwell and an extra magazine. So what's kind of cool is you can take your EDC setup, throw it in here. And it's as simple as taking a lock cable, putting it in the little clip and putting it around something secure in your car. So all you have to do is take the cable, throw it around like, you know, the framework for your seat, loop it around, bring it back in here, put it in that little spot, close it. And now all of a sudden you have this, this secured. I'm going to say it's not the, you know, any safe can be defeated, but I wanted to kind of just show you guys, what size, because that kind of gave me a hard time finding, um, will it fit? I'll leave a link down below to a PDF template. So you can kind of, if you're not reusing a Glock 19 with a red dot optic, you can kind of see what, what's going on. But I, I figured this would be a good comparison because I know a lot of people use the, the Glock 19 with, with the hollow sun as an EDC option, but that does fit. That's probably the largest gun that you're going to be able to fit in here. And it fits, it, it just fits, but it does fit. So what's kind of cool with it is gives you the tether cable, gives you some foam in here. So you can take that foam out and it actually makes it a little, a little deeper. The only issue that I have with making it a little deeper is the gun will, will bounce around top to bottom a little bit without that foam, but it's a nice big storage case. They give you the rubber gasket around here, which, you know, by locking it down, it's supposed to be water, waterproof. You know, I don't know that I would necessarily throw it in the lake with my, my firearm in it. Um, it supposedly does float, but 
you know, as far as getting wet or anything, you don't have to worry about that. I wanted to get something, like I said, that was fairly small and that was easy to, to um, carry around with me that if I do run an errand, like, like running to the post office and I got to take my firearm off, I have something more secure than my glove box. In this case, what I do is I carry this in my Vertex bag, which I'll do a review on shortly. But I simply have this in the back, slides in there, there's really no weight to it. Um, I think the thing overall weighs about two pounds. <clears throat> so I throw that in there if I have to do something where I run into the post office or run an errand that I can't carry my firearm, just pull this out, throw my firearm, like I showed you, the Glock 19 fits, just fits. Anything larger than that is not going to fit, but that does fit. So I can take that out of my holster, throw this in, secure it in the car, and certainly much more secure than just throwing it in, in your glove box. So I was really looking for something that I can travel with and, and kind of <clears throat> transport around in a bag. So I'm not trying to sell the, the Voltec uh, LifePod in particular, but I just wanted to kind of bring it out to you guys and give you guys some options or an, an option and kind of make you guys think about, you know, what do I do with my firearm when I can't, can't carry it into a specific location? You know, post office is a perfect example. So, you know, I don't know whether a lot of you guys just lock it in your center console to your, your vehicle or throw it in your glove box, but this gives you just another option. So with that, I know it was a quick review, but I wanted to kind of show you something that I've been using for the last six months or so. Had great success with it. Um, you know, you can use it for a bunch of different things. Throw it in your EDC bag if you wanted to um, stage firearms kind of around the house. You know, it's a cheap alternative. They're certainly going to be safe. You know, can you break into them? Absolutely. You know, like anything, you can break into them. But, you know, if you stage one or two of them around the house, you know, maybe throw one in your garage, throw one of them, you know, various places around your house, you know, for a couple hundred dollars, you got safe and, you know, they're safe and secure versus just leaving a firearm laying around, you know, especially if you have kids or anything. And they're great, you know, throw them in your EDC bag. If you need it in the car, you've got it. You know, just another option out there that I kind of wanted to share with you. So if you can take a chance, um, take a chance on the channel and, you know, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to, to put out some more content and continue to grow. And if you get a chance, hit the like, subscribe and share button. That certainly would help me out and look forward to doing some reviews in the future.